Welcome to the KU School of Business. We are so glad that you're here. My name is Jason O'Connor. I'm the Assistant Dean of Undergraduate Programs, and I look forward to sharing more about our programs with you today. Students, I encourage you to take notes. So take out a, a pen and a piece of paper, take out your tablet, take out your cell phones, but I do want you to take some notes today. We're going to be discussing our admission requirements, our majors, the business requirements, our international experiences, and the first semester selection. That first semester selection is where I specifically want you taking some notes uh, for uh, today's presentation. Capitol Federal Hall, uh, we've been in there for a couple years now. It opened up in 2016. It's a $70.2 million building, and it's fully paid for in full by our alumni and our donors. Please take a look at the admission requirements below. Uh, freshmen, uh, this does discuss our admission requirements for direct admission. And then sophomores, we do have a competitive admission process that you can apply for actually your sophomore year to get admitted. The majors that we offer, uh, we have one degree, and that's a Bachelor's of Science in Business with several different majors. Accounting. Students, if you're thinking about accounting, if you enjoy numbers, if you're looking into the past, uh, that's what accounting students are doing. This is a four-year four program. We have a Master's of Accounting program as well. So sometimes students think the business school at KU is a five-year program. It's not. It's a four-year undergraduate degree, and then if you would like to, you can go on and do your Master's of Accounting. Business Administration, that is our most general major. Um, if you want to have a little flexibility, maybe you're pre-med, maybe you're pre-law, and you're not exactly sure that you want to focus in one area, maybe Business Administration would be the way for you to go. Business Analytics, that is our newest majors uh, with Gosh, it's been five or six years ago now. We only, uh, there was only 16 undergraduate programs in the U.S. that had a business analytics undergraduate degree. So if you're looking at predicting behavior, business analytics may be a major for you. How about those finance students? If you're looking at investments, uh, predicting um, success, if we all want to retire someday, maybe finance would be the way for you to go. Information systems, this is really solving business problems using technology. So a lot of our IST students, they actually stay around here in the Midwest. They'll go to work for Cerner or in Kansas City in the metro area. International business, this is a co-major, so it does not stand alone. So if you want to do an international business major, you need to do with another major as well. Management, if you have an interest in managing people, so for example, the advising office in the KU School of Business, we have 12 full-time people. So it's my responsibility to make sure I'm managing these people, making sure that we're getting our work done, because if we're not, we're not able to advise and help the students that are watching this video today. Marketing, um, when I go into Dillon's or Target, wherever you buy your groceries, why did you end up buying that product? When you go down the cereal aisle, there's all that really cruddy cereal in the lower aisles, the chocolatey Cocoa Puffs. Why does that fly into your cart? Because there's a free prize inside. Supply chain. So who out there has a cell phone? Of course, we all do. It's getting that cell phone manufactured, distributed to my Verizon dealership. That way when I show up at Verizon, I want the new iPhone 13 or whatever the heck it is, they've got it in stock. So that's supply chain. First, we're going to review how you will achieve the academic requirements for your degree. Um, I want you to take a look at our four-year program guides if you haven't done so already. So if you look below, there's a website. Uh, all of our degrees are 120 hours minimum, and that includes the KU Core, the Professionalism Program, the International Dimension Requirement, Foundation Classes, Business Core, and Major Specific Classes also our capstone. So I want to talk about our business requirements, uh, specifically our professionalism program. These are six one credit hour classes you're going to take over the next four years while you're at the KU School of Business. The Business 110, it's really an orientation to business. Uh, we talk about our values, 
Um, the business 120 is jumping into more what's in the emerging markets, what's happening in business. For example, artificial intelligence. How is AI affecting a lot of different businesses, whether it's in accounting, finance, supply chain, how is that affecting uh, business practices? Business 210, this is going to be a dive on your resumes, your cover letters, uh, mock interviews, where we actually will do an interview with you. The Business 230, we, I have listed here Business 230, but really there's a 230 class specifically for each major. So for example, if you're thinking about majoring in accounting, there'll be an accounting 230 or a finance 230. And this is just learning more about your area of study and getting more information about what you could do in that career field. Business 310, uh, this is an internship class. Yes, we do require that you complete an internship while you're at the KU School of Business. Now, we'll tell you it's a one credit hour class. It's an internship where you need to get the internship. We approve it, but it's also a class that I, I typically tell students, this is something that's gonna be taken over the summer. So you can plan that you're gonna do a Business 310 um, over the summer at some point. Business 410, this is just our professionalism moment. This is when we wrap everything together. We look at any certificates that you've gotten along the way, if you've had a professional selling program, if, you've got, if you're an Excel um, certified, a lot of different things. We're just kind of wrapping it up in one package, making sure you're ready to go out to graduate, get gainfully employed. The foundation classes we have, I'm going to talk about these a little bit. The business school classes, I would say 98% of your classes are going to be in Capitol Federal Hall. There are a couple classes that won't be specifically, and those are the first two listed uh, below. So Accounting 200 and Business Analytics, they are large classes and will typically be taught um, up in a larger lecture hall on campus. Uh, the Business 150 is a foundation course, and then both micro and macroeconomics. These foundation courses, students are taking your freshman and sophomore years. The business requirements, this is the business core. So these core classes you're taking your sophomore, junior year. As I said earlier, we have a Bachelor's of Science in Business, a BSB. So it's important that you take a little bit of all different aspects of business. So you'll take B-Law, B-SAN, uh, the business writing, Business 305. You're going to be taking all those classes your sophomore and junior year. And then you specifically have 21 hours in your major. So whichever major you choose, accounting, finance, marketing, management, doesn't matter. They're all exactly 21 hours in that specific major. Then your very last semester, we're going to have you take Management 498. And that's a capstone class. That class is going to divide you up into small groups. You're going to have a group of probably four to five students. And let's say you're the management expert. You're going to be paired with other students with other majors. So maybe an accounting, a finance, marketing, you name it. So you five students are going to be experts in the field. And we're going to give you a real life business case that has real life problems. You as a group of students have to figure it out, what's wrong with it, and you have to present it back to class. So that's that really that capstone moment that you have. Also, as a requirement for the School of Business, we want all students to have an international experience. Now, I guess my, my first question is, uh, who wants to take a foreign language? Raise your hand, everybody in the audience, please do so. KU has over 40 different languages here. Uh, we have the big three, which is Spanish, German, and French. But as you can imagine, we have a lot of business students taking Mandarin Chinese. We have students taking Arabic. We have students with the, with the global economy right now. I guarantee you we have some students that are taking Russian because of what's going on um, in the world right now. If you say, Jason, no, nope, I don't want to take a foreign language, you don't have to. The second option is to actually study abroad. Now, who would like to study abroad? While you're abroad, uh, you can go for a fall, spring, or summer term, your choice. And if you at least take six hours while you're abroad, then you will meet this international dimension requirement. If you say, Jason, no to foreign language, no to study abroad, then your third option is to take two international courses. As you can imagine, now this is pre-COVID, but pre before COVID, 37% of our students actually studied abroad. And we're seeing a lot of our students are studying abroad uh, this summer. 
During the orientation uh, program, uh, students, when you come and meet with your academic advisor, you're going to come over to Cap Fed. The academic advisor is going to be asking you, what classes do you want to take this fall semester? So please have an idea of which class you're going to want to take. We're going to talk about some options here in a second, but they're going to be talking to you specifically what you want to do in the fall semester. And we're also going to talk about a four-year program degree plan. So we're actually going to give you a program plan, and we're going to give you the, the advisor's business card, and they're going to kind of lay out what it would take for you to graduate in four years. Now, I realize with every student that's coming through, you're all going to be different. Some of you are going to graduate in three maybe years, three and a half, or four. They'll work with you uh, during that advising appointment. The advising center down in the School of Business, we have assigned advisors and it's based on your alphabet. But if for some reason, if you came to orientation and you met with Megan and she's not your assigned academic advisor, it's perfectly fine to keep meeting with her. Uh, simply uh, schedule an advising appointment and you can do that by the link below, the jogps.ku.edu is how you schedule those appointments. We have advising appointments available 8.30 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. Now, this is the sample plan. Uh, students, if you look below, uh, if you're a direct admit, this is kind of some examples for you to think about. We want you to take a math class. So if you've taken the, the math uh, exam, if you've had an ACT score and you have your placement, we want you to take either the Math 2, Math 101, or Math 115, maybe English 101, Financial Accounting, Accounting 200, the Business 110, that's that first professionalism class. It's only one credit hour long. And then Business 150. This gives you a total of 14 hours. We are perfectly fine with that. If you want to add another hour or two, you could certainly do that. But we're OK with you taking 14 hours your first semester. Now, uh, here is a pre-business plan. So maybe you're not quite sure you want to do business. Maybe when you came to orientation today, maybe you were thinking you were going to be a nursing student or maybe something in psychology, but you're thinking maybe you're going to try out business. Same kind of thing. We would recommend that you take a math class, an English class, maybe that first accounting, accounting 200, uh, the business 110 for one hour, and then maybe an arts and humanities class. Once again, we recommend 14 hours will be sufficient for enrollment for your very first semester. Now, students, this is that other things that I want you to write down. Things to think about. I really want you to push and talk with your family and friends about a foreign language. I did my undergraduate degree at KU. I did not take a foreign language, and I really wish I would have. And it's, it makes you stand out. It makes you unique uh, when you get ready to graduate in four years. So think about taking that foreign language, talk to your family, talk to your friends. We have a lot of languages at KU. Think of maybe taking the arts and humanities class, maybe a science with a lab. These are the KU core that you need no matter what. Uh, take that science with a lab. Uh, social sciences, the School of Business does specifically require Psych 104. Maybe you want to take that. Think about a goal four, uh, an outcome one. We also have some other options here for you. Uh, the business 177, finance 101, marketing 101, leadership studies 301. Students, if you're thinking about living in a fraternity or sorority, they do require this. It's a variable credit hour class. So it could be zero hours or one hour. It's your choice. And that could help you make 15 if you decide to live in one of those housing units. Okay, the continue your way through the online course. Students keep going through these things. I want you to be learning a lot. I know we're throwing a lot of stuff at you during this orientation program. Make sure you've sent those transcripts. Make sure you've sent test scores. So if you've taken the ACT, if you've taken the SAT, please send those in. Make sure that you do math placement. And if, you, if you're bilingual, maybe, maybe you've had Spanish, French, and German in high school, and you're going to take a language placement to place higher, please do that. This is an opportunity to explore courses. So think about taking that foreign language. Take, think about taking that humanities class. And don't forget to check out the link below. That's classes.ku.edu. And that's our online timetable. This is going to give you the course descriptions, when the classes are offered, locations. We want you to familiarize yourself with enroll and pay over the next couple of weeks. 
The other thing that the advisor is going to make sure you're doing, students, is when you're enrolling, we don't want you running all over campus. So that's the other thing, is when we're actually enrolling you in the English class and the math class, we're going to want to make sure that you can get from building to building in a timely manner. Thank you everyone for being here today. I really appreciate it. Uh, students, we look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks. Have a great day. Rock Chuck.